Hi guys. So photosensitivity or photophobia, extremely common in mild traumatic brain injury or concussion, but also common across a range of other conditions like migraine, uh, trigeminal neuralgia, blepharospasm, progressive super, supranuclear palsy. So it's very, very common. Um, that's fascinating. So why is it if the retina isn't pain sensitive and light that's coming into my eye isn't painful? or isn't damaging. Why is it that light that isn't damaging going onto a non-painful tissue generates pain? Um, and it's a huge subject, so I'm gonna try and keep this as brief and simple as I can. Um, the rods and cones in your eye are detecting light and creating vision from it. But there's also uh, another set of cells called intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglionic cells. Now they're thought to be very, very important with circadian rhythms. So letting you know when it's light so you can wake up and when it's dark so you can go to sleep. However, they have a direct connection to an area of the thalamus that hasn't traditionally been thought of as uh, to do with vision, um, but has a lot to do with pain. So we have a visual pathway and a pain pathway synapsing onto the same areas of the thalamus. And then the thalamus is going to project multiple areas of the cortex that are to do with vision, um, but also the somatosensory cortex. So, you know, movement, knowing where I am, what different types of sensation feel like. Traditionally, we think of the thalamus as a little bit simple. We think of it as a gateway for sensation to the cortex. So kind of a one-way street, but obviously that's not true. The thalamus doesn't intrinsically know what our goals are. Um, or what sensation we should be paying attention to. So at the moment, am I paying attention to the sensation from the bottom of my feet or am I paying attention to the light coming into my eyes? So we've got this two-way street, this kind of thalamocortical unit between the thalamus and the cortex constantly interacting. So the thought is if we have a change in the way the thalamus works, we have a change in the way the cortex is working, we can start to misinterpret light that's synapsing onto the thalamus as pain because those two things are coming together. If we think of this in terms of um, mild traumatic brain injury, the retina isn't pain sensitive, but the rest of the orbit is. The cornea, the iris, even the extraocular muscles that move my eye are pain sensitive. The dura inside the skull is pain sensitive uh, and the face. Studies have shown that if you activate the trigeminal system through nociception in the face, people are more sensitive to light directly after. So again, there must be an interaction between that visual cortex, uh, the visual pathway and the pain pathway. One study even showed that uh, pro uh, nociception of the hand made people more light sensitive and even blind people can be light sensitive. So um, it's just fascinating. So if we think about a uh, concussion, we've either got a direct trauma to the head. So if we're having a trauma to the head, we'd like to activate that trigeminal system. But you can also think what happens to the brain, it's going to smash up against the skull, so you're going to damage dura, they're pain sensitive, or we're going to get um, axonal injury, so diffuse axonal injury, where there's injury there's going to be inflammation, and probably where there's inflammation there's going to be pain. If we shine light into the eye, there's going to be activation of the trigeminal nucleus caudalis, that's going to be part of the blink reflex, so light that comes into my eye is detected as, as uh, painful, so we blink to remove that painful stimulus and prevent damage of the retina. Um, it's also going to, that light is also going to fire to the superior colliculus and to the visual cortex um, so that we can blink and then move the eye away from the damaged subject. Also the visual cortex is going to have descending inhibition of the trigeminal system. So again if we go back to the head injury, if we damage the occipital lobe or the visual cortex and we lose that descending inhibition of the trigeminal system, when normal not painful light comes into my eye, it, there's got a higher likelihood of it being activated as pain, firing up to the thalamus, and then from there uh, uh, onwards. So those are a couple of the, probably the most important areas of research for, for photophobia at the moment. Um, but it, you can think of it, if, take that same theory and transfer it over to migraines, same idea. In migraines, what we tend to see is that wave of, um, of uh, hyperactivation in the visual cortex normally and then when the migraine stri uh, strikes we have hypoactivation so you lose that descending inhibition 
of the trinary general system and then we generate those, those headaches. So uh, it's just a really, really interesting area of, uh, of neuroscience, really. Um, I'm going to cut this video short here and I'll talk about this another time. Okay, have a good day. If you have any questions, feel free to post them if you like. Uh, feel free to like or comment or share or whatever you want. Okay, have a good day.